Good morning. I've been working on my fence. I have a side fence I'm working on. It's been a big project for me. Um, just wanted to talk about a little realization I had in my meditation yesterday. I just had this thought. It's just, it's funny how these things are so, they seem so simple. It's always really like so profoundly simple. And it's almost like if you don't write it down right away, you're like, you'll forget because it's, it's just so simple. And, um, but the thought that came to my mind was, how do you become more love? How do you become more of that? Not, not, um, how do you attain anything? Not how do you, uh, become enlightened? How do you do something? It's just, how do you become more love? And basically that's what we really are at the, at the end of the day, we're measured by that. That's what we are. We're, or love, pure love. And I I attribute this to the practice I'm doing, the Sahaj Mark practice, the heartfulness meditation. Because I did meditation for a long time and I never felt like this softness, like this, um, it's like being in a warm bathtub. And not always, sometimes, you know, of course you're human, you know, but a lot of the time I just feel like I'm in this relaxed state and it's got to be a good sign. If you think about what, you know, what we've been told God is and how we've been led to believe that God is this judgment, something, you know, this heavy judgment, this heavy um, criticism, this heaviness, um, you know, you have to ask for forgiveness and you have to do your penance and you have to do all these things. And it's really not true. It's, it's actually a complete lie. And it's really sad that's been pushed because it's really just how can you become more of what you really are? Your love and how do you become more of that? And that's what yoga, you know, the... the Yoga means union, union with the divine. So you're seeking through these yoga. People think yoga is just the yoga postures. That's just one of the limbs. There's like a whole bunch of them. And, um, but it's one of these things that got co-opted by the New Age movement. And it's, it's it just leads you down another path like you're following this spoke it's a spoke on a wheel and you can follow it back to the center but it always leads back to source which is love pure love and that's what we are so we are pure love ourselves so with that being said we don't need to go anywhere to find that love it's actually what we are it's not even inside of us it's actually the very substance of what makes us what we are what we're just seeing is this um, very physical projection of love but the whole thing is love and i had an experience once when i first learned transcendental meditation i hadn't even started meditating yet i was in the air force i was sitting in my dorm room I was on night shift at the time and my roommate was asleep and i was just sitting like watching tv getting ready to meditate so i just shot the tv and stuff and just sat and closed my eyes and i hadn't even started doing my meditation and i saw a white light and it was way out in front of me i was like oh that's interesting and it was it was a bright light like the brightest light i've ever seen and it came toward it was started coming towards me and it was like i was like this is really weird you know i was fully conscious this wasn't it wasn't like i was in deep meditation this happened while i was like just sitting with my eyes closed and this light got closer and closer and closer. And finally, it just crashed into me. It crashed into my third eye and just my whole body lit up. My whole, everything, every cell of my body, I became aware of every single cell of my body. And every cell of my body was lit up with this brilliant white light. I mean, it was, like I said, it wasn't even like the sun. It was white, like completely white. 
and um, it lit up everything, like a, a billion watt light bulb. And it went away after, I mean, I don't know how long the experience lasted, maybe 10 seconds, 15 seconds. And while I was having the experience, I thought, man, this is, everything is made of this light. Just, I'm made of it. How could I be made of it and everything else not be made of it? And I realized that it was all that light. And it went away. I never had that experience again. Never had an experience of that in 25 years. And, um, but I, what I always took with me from that experience was the light itself wasn't, you know, quote unquote, God or love or anything like that. There was no love. And it, I just, it was just light. I just felt like I was just lit up. And was it an awesome experience? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted it to happen again. It never happened again. And I was, kept trying to have that experience again and kept wanting to have that experience again because, you know, there's a, a certain level of fulfillment there. I mean, it was complete, You're complete, just on. The, the switch was turned on. And, but this is different. You know, this, this subtle approach to love, it's so, it's so simple that it would be easy to miss it. And, you know, I've just been kind of having the thought the last couple of days, just since I had that experience in my meditation and, you know, just, you know, how can I be more of this? How can I be more of this love? And what I keep coming back to is it's not about what I do. It's not about, you know, how much I do in the physical world how much I own or, you know, what kind of assets I have or how much accomplishments I have behind my name it has nothing to do with it. It could actually, that could actually keep you from having the experience. You know, you get so identified with these physical things. And what I love about the Sahaj Marg path, the heartfulness path is there is a, attention paid to all aspects the physical and the mental and the spiritual but it's not so heavily weighted on one or the other because it's a balance that keeps you going forward and you you know you work and you make money because that's you know your responsibility to take care of your family and do all the things you're supposed to do as a householder those things are valuable. They're very important. And to say that that stuff doesn't mean anything is ridiculous. Of course it means something. But on the other hand, to say that that means everything and my whole self-worth, is my whole identification is how much money I made last year or how much stocks I own or you know, what kind of car I drive, that's, that's just as ridiculous. And... I think we're just in a period of time where we're just what I believe is the heartfulness path is, is what it is when it is to help us achieve a state of balance. And when we, we when we achieve a state of balance, we become a conduit for this love. We, we return to what we really are. It's not, it's not even about, becoming something else it's it's about becoming what you already were it's like returning home and that's you know the the sahaj mark prayer O oh lord thou art the true goal of human life well lord what is lord what is god it's love god is love so love is the true goal of human life and what you could really say is i am love i am the goal of human life but not in a new agey way where you're saying I'm more important than God or, you know, I'm, you know, manifesting all these things and all these realities and all that might be true. But at the, at the simplest level, you're just a, you're just a servant to this godly energy, this loving energy. And when you feel that love, you just think, oh my gosh, this is just the tip of the iceberg. And this is just the tip of the tip of the iceberg. And I think we just have so much glory waiting for us, so much 
um, you know, all these, all the vicissitudes of life are just pale compared to what this glory of God is. And I, I just am thankful and grateful to have this practice to do because I don't know, I don't know where I'd be if it wasn't for that. And, um, you know, it's here for everybody. It's not, it's not about, you know, one person or one group, or you have to believe a certain way or you, it's for everyone. We're all, it's, it's for everybody. It's not, um, you don't have to be a quote unquote believer of anything. And all you have to, all you have to do is have a sincere desire to know your true self, to know God and just be humble. And I guess that's part of the whole pro, you know, process of life is to make us humble. All the difficulties and all the things that come along and hamstring us. Seems like it hamstrings us, but I think it actually is helping reel us in. You know, we're like the fish fighting on the end of the line. And um, we'll just eventually love, we'll, we'll eventually come, you know, back to love after we get tired of all the all the stuff. But we can we can appreciate life. We can appreciate the full value of life, and you know, it's we can experience. You know, Marish, you talk about you know, hundred percent inner and hundred percent of the outer, experiencing the full value, not just not just one aspect, not just this relative aspect, or not just the inner aspect. You know, sitting in meditation all day long. It's having the balance. It, that, and I see with Sahaj Marg is it's being much more balanced than anything I've seen. And um, it's it's not airy-fairy. It's very practical. It's very simple and practical. And I love that. And anyway, hope you have a good day.